Like shit, you ain't getting no sleep that day. The first seven two hours, I ain't get no sleep either. You feel me? I'm talking about as soon we go to sleep, they smoking the hell out of us. Go to sleep, they wake back in that bit. Drill song bust in, boom. Woo do woo do woo woo do woo woo do woo. Y'all get the woo do woo. I'm like, dang, ain't getting no sleep. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Zay, and I know I haven't dropped a video in a while. It's been like eight months. I think the last time I dropped a video, I was just about to leave off for of training, right? For basic training. Well, eight months later, y'all, I'm currently at Medusa Station, and that's the whole purpose of this video today. I'm gonna put y'all on game, what y'all need to know prior before joining the military. Now, everybody journey be different with them joining but it all has similarities and what i mean by that is like so my journey was different than the majority of people who just be coming to come into the military if that makes sense so let me break that down for you so once i left home which i left may the 30th right i left home may the 30th i think i made it to no i left home may the 29th I made it to Montgomery, Alabama, which is where I had to get shipped out to to go to Fort Jackson, which is a um, training, like a training base in South Carolina, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, South Carolina. So I left home May 29th. I made it there, May the 30th, right? Took a bus all the way there. Majority flies, but for some reason, the bunch of I was with, the bunch of people I was with, it was only like 10 to 12 of us. We all had to take a charter bus there. Crazy experience. Long ride, ass was hurting. But yeah, so after that we went, that's when I found out about reception. Now my opinion, man, reception, reception is the, reception was my most dislike part about the whole getting ready to go to basic training. I feel like majority of people talk about basic training, but they don't shine the light on reception, right? So reception is pretty much the part of you of, how to say this, reception is where they take you as a civilian and that's the beginning phase of of structuring you and, and molding you into an army soldier now you feel me but man reception was something interesting it was a real it was a it was a, a shocking it was very shocking i felt like it was a culture shock for sure you feel me i know when i forgot the reception bro i did not go to sleep at all and if I did want to go to sleep, I kid you not, it was not getting no sleep. I think we got done with um, process, prosecute, what it's called, Pro processing. We got through with processing like at 12. That's when them giving us issuing all our gear and stuff. At like 12, one o'clock, they were like, all right, showed us our little, our bay. They said, y'all lay down, you feel me, get y'all some rest. Hit time for tomorrow. I right, like, all right, cool. Maybe think we can go to sleep, man. Hell nah. Went to lay, lay down at one, kid you not. Got woke back up at like 2.30, 3 o'clock. And that's when the bullshit began it. You feel me? Talking about as soon as we pretty much closed our eyes, we was back up. I don't know what happened, but the drill sign came in. And, bah, bust down the door. Everybody get the L5, get the L5. Y'all get downstairs. Position of attention. No, it was like, okay, this is real. You feel me? But it's all love, though. It was real sweet. Um, yeah. I ain't get no sleep for that whole week. Honestly, it was the first 72 hours. You gonna realize what the first 72 hours is throughout your training. You feel me? It's like the first 72 hours of each training event, whatever you call it. So like, the each 72 hours is when they treat you the most like shit. That's the reception, basic training, AIT. You feel me? From all I experienced, the first 72 hours, they were gonna really treat you like shit. You feel me? But yeah, so after reception, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, reception sucked, bro. We was standing up, position of attention for hours. Hot as hell in South Carolina. It's the middle of the summer or the beginning of the summer. You feel me? And OCPs, right? But at towards the end, it started getting a little, a little chill. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, I like this. It's cool. Then let's say, boom. Now you're in basic training. They ship you from reception to basic training. You feel me? And once you get the basic training, 
is hell. That one hell begin. They dump, they dump all your bags hard to beat out. Cause you throw your bags on the back of LMTV. You know what I'm saying? And, and you take a bus in this little white looking jail bus. You taking a bus right to basic training. Again, I went to Fort Jackson. Charlie Company, 213. You know what I'm saying? I went to, uh, yeah, that was me. If y'all, if y'all went to Fort Jackson, man, you know about Charlie Company, 213. We have our stores. But yeah, I was there. So man, your bags already be out, bro. They make you go find your bag. Why are they yelling at you? Right? So yeah, you you trying to find your bag, but they getting on your head. So it's it's a real like shock for most people. I feel like a lot of people get overwhelmed. You feel me? But man, it gets better. So man, after all that, man, you got the first 72. You feel me? So I'm basically training the first 72. Like I said, that's when they treat you the most like shit. You ain't getting no sleep that day. The first 72 hours, I ain't getting no sleep either. You feel me? I'm talking about as soon we go to sleep, they smoking the hell out of us. Go to sleep, they wake back in that bit. Drill song bust down. Boom. Woo the woo the woo woo the woo woo the woo. Y'all get the woo the woo. I'm like, dang, ain't getting no sleep. You feel me? They smoke this. Right? Go back to sleep. Get smoked again. Get woke back up out of sleep and get smoked again. You know what I'm saying? And then he like, damn man, it's no break. Like all we do again is to smoke. But the thing about basic training, there's something called phases, right? I believe it's red phase, blue phase, and white phase. I believe it's a green phase, I forgot. But I know them are somewhere down the line, the phases, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if them in order or not, but I know them are for sure the phases. And I believe the, the beginning is red phase. And red phase is when you catch the most hell. You feel me? No matter what anybody in your platoon do, you know what I'm saying? Y'all all getting smoked for it. I kid you not. Like I got so many stories from somebody else in the platoon doing something, you feel me? And the drill side end up smoking all of us. Just for the simple fact. We in red phase, right? They trying to install discipline and structure. But then the phases is different things that you do in basic training, right? Once you hit that basic training point. So like I know red phase, that's when you you getting comfortable with you learning. You doing more learning. Like they telling you about stuff, you know what I'm saying? They telling you about your M4, your weapon. I think like the second week you get issued your M4, you haven't even shot it yet, but they're teaching you about it. They teach you how to clean it, you feel me, how to disassemble it, how to reassemble it. You feel me? And then after all that, I believe like blue phase, I think it is. Tell me if I'm wrong. If y'all, if I'm wrong, man. If I'm, if I'm getting the phases mixed up, y'all put in the comment. I'm getting the phases mixed up. You feel me? Shastig me. You feel me? Get me right. You know what I'm saying? Right now I'm ate up about forgetting everything, but I don't got no notes. I'm just free going. So yeah. But yeah, let's sit down. I say blue phase. You feel me? That's the phase where you actually go out to the range. You shooting. You know what I'm saying? You actually shooting. You gotta qualify. Oh, red phase. You got big tower. You know what I'm saying? You got, it's different events in basic training. And basic training is not as bad as you think. People people scared to join the military. They think basic training is drill sergeant yelling on 24-7. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, they is on your ass 24-7. But y'all got to also understand that, man, let me put y'all on a little secret. Bruh, all that is just an act. I kid you not. My drill sergeant told me that. He was like, man, once you realize... That all oh, this is just an act. This is not how the big arm is. This is not how we as human beings are. You feel me? You would just think about it. You you would think about it so differently. You feel me? You'll be looking at like, man, this is nothing but a joke. So that's what that's what I realized. You feel me? Once my drill sergeant told me that, I was like, man, this ain't nothing but a joke. They all acting. You gonna realize it. all that yelling, bro. All that cursing. Just have a tough skin, man. Let that shit just go over your head, bro. You feel me? And yeah, so far, man, with me being in the military, the military is chill. My fuck your duty station is not how you think your duty station would be. I guarantee you, it's way more laid back. I do more chilling than anything. Go to work, come home. Cause keep in mind, y'all, we're not in no war right now, so we kind of we're pretty much at peace right now. So it's just a set schedule. You know what I'm saying? Wake up at six twenty, then sit there. Um, Go to formation, PT formation, leave that around 7.15. Excuse me. And then you sit there, bro. Go home for like two hours, hour and a half, two hours. Come back to work at 9. You feel me? Get off at 11. 
For lunch break, after 11 o'clock, go back to work, get off at 5. Bro, it's really sweet, bro. It's nothing but a 9 to 5, man. But yeah, bro, that's pretty much the video. Like I said, this is my first video in a while, man. So I know it's not going to be the best. But can y'all please like, comment, subscribe, man. Give me some more ideas of what I can do. I'm open, you feel me? Anything y'all want to see, questions and answers, Q&As, you know what I'm saying? Vlogs or day in life of a military, y'all let me know, man. You feel me? And I'll for sure try my best to sit down and make a good video for y'all. Keep y'all updated. My goal is to drop a video at least once or twice a week. You feel me? So I for sure, I for sure, for sure, for sure. I need content ideas. So y'all please do that for me. I'm out.